What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to play in a greedy draft. Greedy draft is draft three packs and keep the cards you draft. But with a twist, everyone can play two lands a turn, start with nine cards in hand, and they have no maximum hand size. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, 5,000 gold seems like a significant amount more, but I think I'm told they always use gold for these things. Well, I'm definitely taking this. Two, two lands a turn, huh? Yeah, all right. Oh, that is loud. Hmm. Two lands a turn and nine cards. I feel like a bunch of turn two ill-gotten inheritances are pretty good in this format. Trollbred Guardian also not bad, but I think you'll gotten inheritance is probably better, especially if you can get multiples. Yeah. All right. Uh, Enraged Saratok. Hmm. This is best of one, so I can actually see playing and expose the daylight. Can he do a oh, sweet deck? Yes, he can. <laughs> Danny, I totally I didn't forget about your stiff. It's actually in the... Uh, I have a notepad with all the things on it. With all the sips and stuff on it. Um, it's got a gateway plaza, bring to trial, exposed daylight. Skewer the critics and the Saratok are nice, but we're not really in those colors. Green is not really an option because there's no black green and there's no white green. Skewer the Critics, Rakdos, and Orzhov are options. Could just take the Gateway Plaza. Two lands a turn means you can play Gateway Plaza on turn one, which is nice. Gatebreaker Ram seems to get better with two lands a turn. However, again, it's awkward with these. Because you can't go Sultai because there's no Demir and there's no Golgari. Can you go? Can you go Jund? You can go Jund. You can. We can not play the Seraph, but I don't see the, the really point of that. We could just take Gatebreaker. We we could just. We're just gonna take the Ram. The Ram is probably super strong when you're playing two lands a turn, right? Uh, Gateway Plaza again, pretty good. Uh, I don't hate Blade Brand. second guys um this pack is kind of weird it might just be blade brand I don't think I love it though the Scope of Vampire is probably just a nice safe pick. I mean, like you said, 2, 4, 6 is really where you want to be, but I don't think you can only take 2, 4, and 6 because you'll just not have enough playables, perhaps. Take Consign. Yeah, Blade Juggler. All right. No. Um, Arachdos Guildgate is... Oh, or there's a late Orzhov Enforcer. I'm probably just going to take that. Maybe we don't play this. We'll see. We do have double gateway plaza though, so there's an expose. Actually, that was probably a Sentinel's Mark pick. Wow, Blade Brand came back. Badek Bedazzle. 
It's just good removal. Do you want this Cape Breaker Ram? Probably. Ill-Gotten Inheritance. We just take all the Ill-Gotten Inheritance, right? And we can just play them because it's two lands a turn. That seems pretty nuts. Mm, Pitiless Pontiff also seems good with two lands a turn. Don't foresee us playing a Frilled Mystic. I do see us possibly playing a Get the Point. Could just take Imp, but I think Get the Point is a little bit stronger. Uh, Grasping Thrill and Blade Juggler. It's a tough pick, actually. I mean, I almost feel like Simic is stronger, right? Oh, that's loud. What are greedy drafts? Uh, it's described over here, I believe. You draft three packs, you keep the cards you draft, but with a twist, everyone can play two lands a turn. You start with nine cards, and you have no maximum hand size. So, pretty interesting. I'm going to go with Grasping Thrall. I'm um, going to take an another Gateway Plaza, just because it makes our Gaper Garanar get the point a lot more splashable. Imperious. Like, we're basically Orzhov base with uh, Gaper Garan and get the point. Which is interesting, because we could take the, the World Guild Gate, and it does help with both of our splashes. So I think we're going to do that. Mm, same thing with this. All right. And with this. Nothing great here. What's going on, Badger? CTB? Pernicious dude. Wow, that's a late that's a late blade juggler. For sure take that. Hmm. Gruel Spellbreaker. It is it is our two splash colors. We have like five ways to produce both. Not a big Cry of the Carnarium fan in this format. There's a lot of three toughness creatures. I could see taking, just taking Spellbreaker. Like blue is the one color we're not, so I'm not really interested in this. I feel like we want bigger things. Yeah, nothing in this pack is really great for our colors. I don't like hybrid just because the adapt is double green and it is a two drop and I don't feel like we're going to have green on turn two that easily. It's actually a tough pick. I really don't know what to take here. I think it's either Spellbreaker or Erings, and I think it's probably Spellbreaker. It's just a 4 4. Rakdos Fire Willer is pretty sweet. So is another Grasping Thrill, but. Oh, Hybrid's great, no joke. I mean, that's one of the premier two drops in the format. I'll just take fire really here. Ideally, we get some more guild gates that that benefit that. Thank you, Cassius. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. We fast the first trimester for this sub, baby. Uh, it could just be skewer the critics here. It could be another guild gate too. What 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 with Grasping Thrill 2021. Okay, so this this is counting the lands all of a sudden. Usually it would not count any of your any of your lands because they would kind of affect your your count. Yeah, I'm gonna take that just because we have Spellbreaker and all that. Oh, another Gateway Plaza. Frenzied Airings is nice. <laughs> What's going on, Morgan? Hmm. Oh, the green splash for the Gatebreaker round. We have three, four, five, six, seven, seven gates, and you can play two gates a turn. Like, it seems pretty good. Also, we're going to take this... Uh, Frenzy Darings here. I have no idea how this farm is going to play out is the problem. Three Gateway Plaza is probably enough. I don't think I want that many that come into play tapped and also require an extra land. So I think it's probably one of these. I don't think I care about two drops as much as I care about this four drop. And then here's another one. We can just take this Oligarch now, I guess. Also take this light up the stage. I kinda like that. How many four drops do we have? Messenger, imps, dead rebels, and three ill-gotten inheritance. I'm just gonna take the two drop actually. Oh, Rakdos Guild Gate. Another we have two blade jugglers already. I think we're good with that. I think we'll just have to guild gate here. Same thing with this one. Hmm. Plague White's actually a fine two drop. Wow, that is a a rewarding gateway thrill there. Grasping thrill, not gateway thrill. Magic's hard. Hmm. Okay. Actually, despite the weird additions to this deck, the red and green cards, like this feels like a pretty decent deck. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine gates. That seems good. I like one forest, one mountain. So this is one, two, three, four, five red sources, eight red sources. One, two, three, four, seven green. Black we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and white we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems good. <sighs> Might be able to cut the green for only three cards and just add another swamp, right? No, I don't have planes. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, yep, seventeen. Um I like Exposed, but I don't think we're going to play it in the main deck. I don't think we need Blade Brain in this deck because we don't really have any ways to exploit it, and then the lock it can come out. So, what, do we play an extra land? Do we just play like 41 lands? Like, you want to have a bunch of lands, right? But you do start with nine, nine cards in hand. I think this is actually fine. We'll see how it goes. We'll play around and see how it goes. This is kind of an awkward hand because we can play Gateway Plaza and a Swamp. Actually, I think that's okay. How does this farm work? You start with nine cards in your hand. Um, you get to play two lands a turn, and you have no maximum hand size. So, pretty interestingly, I'll keep this hand. Maybe. 
Oh god, what if I led with that? Can you imagine? I'd cry. They didn't have a fourth land. That's interesting. Alright, so we can go turn three Seraph, which is not as good as turn two Seraph, but... That's sad. I mean, it can pretty much cast everything, and we have a lot of... Like, we can go 2-drop, two 2-drop, two into 2-drop, keep a final payment, or 4-drop, or... Guy's pretty good. Ideally, they just have no gold cards, though. Um, they, they're playing like 47 cards, it looks like. I mean, that's probably not true, right? 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 42, 43, 44, 47. Yeah, about 47. Is that a Mortify? It was indeed a Mortify. I wouldn't say I'm mana screwed per se. Yeah, I mean, I have lands. Where's that cry of the Carnarium when you need it? I have to remember it's only it's only one round. Hey, look at that, another land. I feel like we're doing okay here. But what do I know? Magic is a hard game. Luis made the top eight. Oh my god, dude, that's unbelievable. I stopped watching after like round one today. I just wasn't. I don't know, wasn't feeling it. Round one, I mean the round four, I guess, the standard rounds, whatever. Do ins so good with the white guy? I have no idea what that means. Do ins? <laughs> like Brian Braun do ins? Oh, that's probably Dovins, but it got auto corrected. That would be my guess.
Isn't the topic it always else here are seven others? Yeah, it seems like it. It sure seems like it. I don't feel like we're going to need to keep up final payment. I like going Spellbreaker, keep up final payment, but I don't feel like it's super necessary here. I'd rather just have three, four, five, six, seven, put on a two-turn clock. This <laughs> is Frank Alice and Randos. That's true. Sometimes. One time. Memories. Once I top eight it, I was like, you got this. You can handle it from here on out. I said that to LSV. And he was like, thanks. I was like, anytime, buddy. That's what I'm here for. They're drawing a lot of cards and making a lot of 1-1s, one but they're not doing much. Like, we both have 5 cards in hand, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 guys, and they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 guys, but one is a defender, 3 or 1-1, one, one, so it's like... Didn't I play against loose ones? Yeah, maybe. It might have been one of the most, most talked about matches... I don't want to say ever, but... It was good. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Still five, huh? Still can't. So this is two life. Consigned to the pit is two life. So like, are we just gonna kill them with flyers? Okay. And then they make another one. Flyers seem flyers do seem pretty good versus this board. Also 24, so like I don't foresee an alpha. Like, they can attack with this guy and this guy, and it's pretty good. They gain six, so they go to ten, and we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in hand. It's pretty rough. Beast man. Put it on the beast man. Oh, you didn't want to put on the beast man? Gotta go in there with this guy. There we go. They figured it out. So it's seven. Puts them to eleven. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's gonna take two turns. Okay, so we're gonna be death touching here, blocking normal here, and that's how we're doing it. And then we actually get another flyer too. What a time to be alive. They can't fairy duel us. They have a white, a green, a they have a white and a black and a red and a green. Oh my god, what if they have like plus three plus three? It's actually real good. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> and then we have consign. So it's real close. Not there yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. 
Could just actually play Carrion Imp and Piddle it and, and keep up final payment. Actually, just getting rid of this here. This guy. Thirteen seems healthy still. You're at five. Got him. Dovin is a cutie. Dovin a cutie. Confirmed. Okay, so. Take a plague white out, and we'll add another land actually. Because you want to be able to hit your land drops here. We can also take out. I don't know, spell, Spellbreaker doesn't seem that great, unfortunately. I can just bring in like Consigned to the Pit or Debtor's Transport. Oh, actually, I guess we could have just added things, right? We didn't have to go to 40. 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 44, 42, 44. Everyone is playing more than 40 cards. And I'm like, no, I'm good on 40. Let's play Ill-Gotten Inheritance first, right? Oh, no. This guy's 100% getting countered. Counter this too. You just got a bunch of counters in your hand. So we can actually go juggler. Second, please. Why are we playing two lands a turn? Because that is how the greedy drafts work. Oh, uh, Hunter's dreaming in the background, guys. What about the overlay now? I appreciate that. Oh, that's that's sad. Why did you bounce my guy? Wow, and you have a cinder vines? What is even happening right now?
I mean, this is an easy block here, sack this guy. Like, I can click on things and see her. Oh, that's from the, uh, that's, uh, that's an app called Deckmaster. Cinder Lames is more like it. <laughs> what did I say? Cinder Flames? I don't even know. Cinder Vines, whatever. I'll call it whatever I want. You know, my dad. Cinder Flames gently cries. <sighs> well, I don't foresee you attacking now, so that's pretty cool. That didn't feel like a super strong... This cost four. Oh, I thought it cost five for some reason. Hey, Grandma. Good seeing you. Yep, that is a big fat bottom boy. I'd like a land so we can play Ditter's Transport and still keep up Pitiless Pontiff. Thanks. Could also just consign to the pit that guy. Good to see you too. Your sweat boy? I don't even know what that means. two cards in hand, so I'm pretty okay with it. That's fine. I mean, it's still indestructible, so... Now they have one card in hand. We're gonna take a lot. Like, this is eight. We're gonna take six. I think it's fine. <laughs> Hit it again! That did not work the way they thought it worked. Could have actually consigned this guy. Attack for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That would have been significantly better, but I got so, so wrapped up in playing this Grasping Thrall that... So we can just add more cards. I'm just going to add more lands. <laughs> I'm play this big ass crocodile. 42 cards. That's what we're doing.
add braid bland, braid blade brand and lock it. Did I add lock it? I had the lock it right. Oh yeah, this is a snap key. Could just play Pontiff on turn one. Yeah, I think we're just playing Pontiff on turn one and then Blade Juggler and Rule Guild again on turn two. Oh, I didn't have the locket? God, I'm really bad at this game. Did I have the locket? No. Okay, well. A plus. <laughs> We're having a good time. I don't get why either, but I figured somebody knew something that I didn't, so... Yeah, you draw two extra cards on turn one. You start with a nine card hand. So like I can understand if you drew two cards a turn playing more than 40 because then you're gonna see more cards. But I don't know. The way it is, like you just you don't see anything else, so. Yeah, and the thing is you do want to have, unlike most traditional decks, you want to have four lands by turn two, not by turn four. So, but you do draw nine cards on turn one, so you'll, you'll in both situations, you should have 11 cards by turn four, right? Seven and then eight, nine, ten, eleven. This seems like a fine trade if you want to do that. Everybody's a critic. Could double block here. I'm actually fine with either. They don't have any green. Yeah, this is fine. I'll trade. <laughs> I did take. I always take greedy to heart. Oh my god, I'm one of the most greedy Magic players that I know. Okay, sure. Wait, I can play both of these, but if I play this first, it actually shuts me out of playing this. That's hilarious. I feel like we're doing well. I'm trying real hard not to sing Black Betty right now, just so you know.
<clears throat> well, that's just rude. So... Yeah, auto tap is a little derpy at times. The, the good thing is you can actually just bring out, you can hold out the creature that you're going to play. And um, not really worry about it as much. You can actually just see what they're going to, what they're going to do. If that makes sense. See what the, the auto tap is going to tap. <laughs> I would beg you to sing black. Danny, that, that, that strikes me as a surprise. Danny, aren't you in both RPG Badger and Australia? Don't you? Do you guys know each other? I am a fan. <clears throat> Our opponent's stuck on four lands. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Such a small continent. Oh, God. Thank you. T. Jesse, thanks so much for Lisa, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. They have one mana up. I don't think they can really do much here. So if we trample with this guy. Three, four, five, six. Seven. They go to one. They go, they, they, they're at zero actually. And I might have miscounted. You can tell because they lost and I didn't think they would. So we're just adding the locket here, you think? <coughs> can I add one more land? Just go to infinite lands. All right, this is our deck now. Thank you. Kyers, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Six months in a row. What's after this greedy draft today? Probably more greedy drafts. You can never be you, you can never be greedy enough, I think. Playing against a raccoon. Okay. Oh god, being able to make that guy six six next turn is it's bad juju. I guess we do have Crocodile. We could just go Guildgate, Guildgate. Um, it's probably better to play Locket though. We can go this guy, Locket, Guildgate. And next turn we play Croc Crocod Crocodilius. Oh, all right, cool. Get a 
quench this? No, oh, I like that you did not. Sure. That's an interesting choice. You just alpha here and then like... Evolve the one I don't block, I guess. Or no attack at all. Block here? Maybe. Who knows? Pay an additional cost. Sack a creature or an enchantment. I will choose this guy. And we'll actually kill probably one of these. What happened? Oh, here's what I'm doing. Sacrifice the target creature, this guy. Oh, that was end of turn. That's frustrating. I would have just killed this guy then. Ah, yeah, I, yeah, that's valid in this play. That's unfortunate. That's a yikes for me, dog. a lot of lands. Well, they have a lot more things than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They've drawn, they've drawn five more lands and a lock. Not sure how we win this game. I feel like if they just kept attacking with Steeple Creeper and this guy, they'd probably be way ahead. We'd probably have lost by now. this game. <clears throat> 
I mean, that's not bad, but... Oh, cancel that. That was an <coughs> Throat's scratchy now. That's great. Good job, Throat. So we're taking what? <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're gaining four. I think we're dead. Yeah, this is not gonna be. Yeah, we're not gonna be. <coughs> All right, so let's take out some of these lands. Now we've gone too far. I don't know what the perfect distribution is, but I definitely don't think we've found it yet. Nineteen. That seems good. We're two spells, one one land over the normal. I'm just gonna play two guild gates because if we actually draw a land, an untapped land, we can play Elgotten on turn two. We did not, but we can still play. Well, I think it's more important to play this and just play Pitiless Pontiff here. <coughs> this guy that seems good I mean we have dead rebels so I'm not super concerned with that come on land <coughs> land off the top one time. It's kind of like a bad land. You mean it produces black and red? Like a Rakdos guild gate? Sure, if that helps. I'm on a creature with this guy. I also don't want to just not play anything, so I guess we'll play this guy and get a counter. No, okay. Okay. Are we dead again? <coughs> really tired of being dead. The locket only enables us to play one card, which is Grasping Thrall. We have a bunch of four drops that we can play, so I kind of just wanted to start getting cards out. A 
Okay. This is going well. <clears throat> Big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. <coughs> Oh, there you go. Now we're living the dream. That guy would be great. I guess it blocks here and we can block here and go to one. God, the lack of lands here is pretty frustrating. land here I actually feel like it's okay well that's the exact wrong one we want no oh, that's awkward yep all right well We've never had color issues, we just had quantity issues where I'm like, where's my rest of my lands? <laughs> A bit more specific next time, yeah. <clears throat> Once more with feeling. So we can go Bitless Pontiff. Plains. Plaza. Not terrible. Pretty good. Hmm. Probably just gonna play debtor's transport here. 
if I thought we could hit a land, I'd play this and this, but... Oh, wow. All right. That's pretty scary. I mean, less scary when they have no creatures, but... This guy's actually a 6-6 six -six and one of the scariest creatures we have. Which is kind of funny. I'm still gonna play this guy. It's better mana use. If we draw any land, we can play two things the next turn, so... <coughs> If I kill this, he responds by... Well, that doesn't, they didn't give it haste. Alright, well, I think they're just dead then. Unless they fight something. Alright, they did. They could scorch mark this and take eight. Didn't seem great. This hand actually seems really good. For the first time, we can play ill gotten Inheritance on turn two. Actually, maybe not for the first time. We probably did it before. I think we did it in like game one or something. Yep, I had a feeling. They just double their life. Wow. Okay, that's something. Yep, that's a pretty big swing on turn three. <clears throat> source here.
Fucker. <laughs> Good amount of removal. If we can hit a red source, we could get the point as well. They're probably gonna take final payment, maybe. Or carrying him. Sure. Can I get a dead rebels? That'd be pretty gas. That's also not terrible here. Turns on to get the point. <laughs> Man, giving all of our creatures death touch, it's pretty nice. Picks from multicolor, monocolored, sure. Well, it's an interesting choice. I have get the point, but bottom. I mean, we have two removal spells here, so... <coughs> yep, that's... that's a good one. You just gotta have some creatures. Seems like we're in pretty good shape here, which is interesting because they literally uh, <clears throat> drained us for like a million. Mm -hmm. I like the Era 2 too. Surprised that we're doing this well. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> High alert makes us a 1 1. That's great. Should have played Oligarch first in case we want to sacrifice this or final payment. Mm, is that any good? Do I care? Not really. I'm not going to final payment and sacrifice them to kill it because. Well, we've, we've dealt them like 25 damage so far. Which is not, not bad.
Yep, that's not gonna do what you. Wait, does it? Why does that? Hmm. Oh, so it's a three-three, and then it just deals three. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. Well, we don't have a second red, so that's sad. Target? No. Target this guy. <coughs> Sack this guy. Magic Hill is a silly game. I have no idea what's even happening here. <coughs> you tap in such a way that you can't crack it? Oh, okay. Well then. Oh, fashionably late to the party, but I mean, it does let us cast this guy next turn. Pretty good. hate that. The problem is if we attack and they block, it's really <coughs> it's really bad for us because then we're just dead. We take four. We can kill this guy. But I think we just have to sit back and not do that.
No attacks. We have 11 mana, so actually we can crack both of these next turn if we don't die. Sure, get a bird. I mean, we were going to chump anyway, so I'm not like... If they have a way to deal with this one bird, then we're dead. We have to attack and then activate. So it was a close game. This is also our first greedy draft, so I have no idea if this was in any way correct. But both of our trigger put them to nine, so if we hit a land, if everything goes according to plan, we can draw land, double activate. Oh, this is actually okay. We like we win this this long game here that you want to play. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna end the turn. We're gonna pass. We have two ill-gotten inheritances up, which is pretty strong. This might just win the. Yeah, they can untap it. That's fine. Do we just win? We deal them two and then we crack both? No, then they crack theirs in response, so. Ooh, third ill-gotten inheritance, huh? Okay. Okay. This is how we do it. Oh, man. I'm not even going to play this guy. I want to keep this up in case they have some kind of shenanigans. Because we're going to go to 8, and then this is 4. So if they have something... Don't care about that. your boy also worth noting this is a 1-1 with high alert so Okay, well, I don't know how you win this game now. This is actually kind of hilarious how this has gone. Alright, so you have to crack this, right? I mean, if I got turn three um, Revival Revenge off, and I <clears throat> swung the game for 30 life. <laughs> what a hilarious game. Wow. Oh, man. <sighs> well, we have five wins, which feels pretty good. One, two, yeah, this is a keeper. It's 
funny because we can play this, we can almost play this, we can play this, we can play this. So do we play this on one and then hope to play something else on two? I think that's fine. <clears throat> uh, we didn't have lethal because they could respond by cracking theirs. So it was kind of like a Mexican standoff, if that's a thing. I don't know if that's a thing or not. It's probably a thing. last turn. I'm gonna lead off with the, I think this is the weakest of the four drops, so if they want to counter it with their... Sure. I am playing two lands. <laughs> so you can tell if it's a thing. If they did it in the office, it's a thing. Hmm. I see. thing is like with dead rebels in our deck I almost want creatures in the graveyard okay Well, to be fair, the Mexican standoff was Andy, Dwight, and uh, and Michael. So, I see. Do we hit a land here? Let's try to hit a land. Here. Gateway Plaza. Oh, that's a good one, but I can't do anything else, so. Seems good. The Office has been a show that I've definitely put on in the background, especially recently because I've been a little uh, disheartened, let's say. Um, yeah, I don't want to go five here, so I'm actually going to block with my bomb. Sure. I don't do anything.
Um, I actually don't love Portlandia. I can appreciate it. I think it's fine. But it's not like one of my go-to shows. There's something very comfortable about The Office. I think we just turned this game around significantly. Uh, I'm basing that on the four creatures in our, in our board and the three life that they're at. Is this Mardu Vampires? Yeah, it's really close. It's basically just Mardu Vampires. Alright, six wins. We got one more win. Let's see if we can 7-2 seven, seven this bad boy. What's up, kitty cat? What's up, little man? I will keep this hand. I would like to draw another land so we can go Oligarch into Orzhov Enforcer or at least just play a uh, gate and like, ram, that'd be nice. Hey, we did it. I'm actually just gonna rattle off some inheritances, I think. No, we'll just go two, two creatures. That seems better. I'm literally on my second viewing of the watching now. Oh, well, not the watching of the office now. Not the second viewing, but the second viewing in a row. Recently. Sure. I have not seen New Girl. Seems good. Mm, let's do no attacks. Oh, I feel like our one damage is... Uh Yeah, like a Gruel Guildgate or something. Gotta pay for it. There you go. That sounds fine. <clears throat> if we hit a land, we can also play Gatebreaker Ram, unless it's a gate. Three three is not the best, but it's still a creature, so I'll take it. Discard a card, huh? Juggler. If you want to trade with either of these guys, I'm totally fine with it. You have four cards and a locket in play? I can't even play that guy. Well, that's seven two. That's a that's a big that's a big victory for our first uh, greedy draft. All right, 
Seems good. Unfortunately, the prizes are not that great, especially because our packs are not going to be that great. But nevertheless, we'll open them now and find the gems inside. Beautiful, beautiful. If you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end the video. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below. And you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, where you will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And it's a great deal. So make sure you check those out. They're super comfortable. And uh, it helps the stream. You get something cool. It's a great way to support the stream. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.